Hey guys, it's day 28 of running every day and uh, we're still going strong. I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, how are my knees holding up? And they're doing great. See, running isn't bad for your knees. It's actually good for your knees. In the same way that when you go to the gym and do some bicep curls, that's going to grow your biceps. It, when you go out for a run, what are you going to do? You're going to adapt to the stimulus. So you don't want to go out after a period of not training and you know try your one rep max in deadlift that's just asking to get injured in the same way if we're just starting out our running journey we can't expect to be a hero right off the bat we need to build up to it so um, not only is it something that you have to start doing slowly when you're uh, running but there's actually a technique to it you know uh, running is a series of repetitive impacts, but ultimately you can do a lot of things to minimize those impacts in such a way that instead of going to the gym and you, you do enough bicep curls to kill your biceps and then like you can only do bicep curls like a week later, you can barely hold on to the steering wheel if you drove to the gym. So uh, let me show you guys like what I'm talking about. So... Basically, when we're running, we want to run light on our feet. And that's going to minimize the impact. That's going to create, instead of like stepping on my heel and then there's like a jarring impact force every step that I take. And that's like 10,000 steps if I run 10, 10 kilometers that day. Um, I'm going to want to be lighter, right? So how can I do that? Well, this might be a bit weird but take off your shoes. That is gonna teach you how to run the best. Why is that? Because nature is gonna be giving you the feedback that you need in order to work on your running form and pretty much perfect it. It's, it's not gonna happen overnight, but the more you run barefoot, the more you run in minimal shoes, the more you're gonna learn how to run in a way to reduce the impact on your joints. And I know a lot of you guys are fit, but you just don't like running. And most of the people I've talked to who don't like running, but they like other forms of fitness, and maybe in the back of their minds they would like to run, is because it's too painful. But running is not inherently painful. It's something that if you do correctly, it can be very rewarding. So like right now, there's a lot of rocks on the ground. If I, if I run, they're gonna be telling me if I'm doing something wrong. And um, essentially, you wanna to listen to that feedback and then you're gonna adjust your running form accordingly. So there's a couple principles that uh, I've learned, but don't just listen to me, like try this out. So don't just watch this video and like listen to what I'm saying and then be like, okay, I'm gonna do it exactly what he's, what he's saying. Because there are ways you can adjust your running form such that like everybody's unique so your running form might be uh, not the same as the person next to you right so basically a couple things that you want to think about when you're running is every step that you take you want to make it so that it's like a smooth impact so you don't want to take long strides so you want to increase your stride rate per um, per minute so like the ideal stride rate is like somewhere between 160 and 180 strides per minute and so instead of going like like large pumpkin strides like that you are going like light on your feet light on your feet da, da, da. and now instead every time I'm stepping on the ground instead of it being painful it's just like the rocks are, are, are being like hello 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 it's just like a little a little bit of an, uh, a nervous system um, like reminder you know they're just like reminding you like hey What's up? How's it going? They're just, they're just saying hi. So ultimately, just um, try that out. Take off your shoes and you will be amazed how quickly your running will transform. Uh, and then obviously, if you want to strengthen your knees on the side, you know, some squats help do, uh, doing that as well. So, you know, incorporate some calisthenics into your workout routine. Maybe go lift some weights. Do some heavy deadlifts, some squats um, with some weight, and your knees will get stronger over time, and you're gonna adapt to this, right? Like, 
trust me, any of us, we're, we're evolutionarily um, adapted to running long distances. Like, pretty much almost all of us, barring any genetic, you know, disorders, are capable of running hundreds of miles a week. And obviously, I'm not at that point yet either, but that's because I'm aware of, you know, something like that I need to build up to. The same way, if I go out, I spend all winter inside, and then I go out and try to get a tan, you know, I'm likely to get sunburnt if I'm not careful. But if I am outside day after day, exposing myself to the sun as the seasons change, I'm gonna build up a tolerance to that um, sunlight, to that radiation. So in the same way, like, start out slowly, like try to be raw, try to like start slowly, but also listen to your body and uh, be as exposed as possible. Like don't, if you want to build up resilience, don't put mittens on, you know, don't put shoes on. Try to, try to go at it like a baby, you know. Uh, you don't need all this fancy equipment. You just get out there, try it out, Nature is going to provide you all the information you need to improve. So, you know, stop watching this video. You don't need a running coach. Uh, I'm here to motivate you guys. I don't really want to teach you guys how to run properly because I'm not capable of doing that. The ground is going to be telling you everything you need to know. Your body is going to be telling you everything you need to know. So go out and kill it.